Hi there, thanks for checking this video. I'm Jackson Felden. Today is going to be all about ransomware. First, I want to show how you can use a built-in policy to detect possible ransomware activities on your tenant. And second, how you can build a policy, a customized policy to detect when files are renamed for those well-known ransomware extensions. Anyway, let me show you how you can do that. Okay, uh, here I am at the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. In order to get here, just need to go over the portal.cloudappsecurity.com and then the step number one, let me show you the, the policies. If I go under the control and then policies, first let me show you the built-in ransomware policy. If I just type here, just to buy a bit of time. Yeah, this is the policy I'm talking about, ransomware activity. Uh, double check back on your tenant if that policy is enabled. Okay, in my case, it is enabled, otherwise the disable button wouldn't be here. And the beauty of this pre-build, if I could call, uh, the beauty of this pre-build policy is it will detect some weird activity, or let's say too much activity, when it comes to file upload and file rename as well. Microsoft, using all the kind of backend intelligence, will keep an eye and easy detect and basically create an alert if those things are happening. The second policy I want to talk about is created by myself. Basically, what I did already, and then I will show what are the alerts and from where the files come from, uh, ransomware encrypted files. Basically, what I did is first time I clicked over the create a policy, and then I selected file policy, kind of really easy to create, um, you know, whatever the name you want. And then what I did is in here, make sure you select the file we are looking for, basically file extension, okay? Let me go back to my own policy and then it's ready to go. Just don't want to waste too much time. Let me go back in here. Okay, yeah, this is my policy. If I, there are 10 matches already, I will show in a few seconds. If I click in here, you know, as I said, whatever the name you want, and then I picked extensions, the extensions must be equal. And then here is just matter now to populate the popular, I would say the most popular extensions used by the criminals when they are encrypting, uh, encrypting files for, you know, ransomware activities. I will show in a few, se actually, let me show you now. If you are not too sure about the extensions, uh, yeah, you could go uh, to the fileextensions.org and then here on the left, just select ransomware uh, encrypted files. And then here there is a big list. I didn't want to kind of, you know, to add all of those extensions. I added, as you can see, two, okay, uh, cryptid and cryptor. Okay, I added in here. Over here, make sure you, you, you select or keep all files in here as well, all owners. I don't want to use any other engine to do a second inspection. And if there is any, if the, the system can detect those extensions, I want to make sure an alert is created and these guys, they are, you know, they are notified, okay? Uh, okay, now let me show the result after creating this policy. If I go over my alerts, click in here, I have too many already, I think on the next page I can find them. Uh, yeah, there you go. And then from here, I can see based on the name I created, ransomware encrypted files. Now let me just prove to you my my policy is working fine. Yeah, again, you know, the user uh, Lee G, if I click in here and now let me just show the path. Okay, from here, yeah, as you can see, basically is the OneDrive from Lee G and then under the documents, engineering, and then yeah, the file competitor listing a cryptor. Okay, this is the file. Okay, that was catched by Defender for Cloud Apps. Now, if I go back to my virtual machine, oops, let me just type the password again. Oops, yeah, there you go. Okay, if I go over my user Lee G, and then under my uh, OneDrive, now, oh yeah, here's the folder, engineering competition. 
okay and there you go yeah here here are those three files encrypted by what you know would be a possible ransomware and in no time the defender for endpoint uh, sorry not defend for any point the defender for cloud app uh, managed to detect and create a log into the alerts okay yeah that's the kind of the result of my policy i just created and that's it for today just wanted to show how you can use those two procedures in this no ending fight against ransomware and yeah that's pretty much it thanks again for watching and if you enjoyed this video please give a quick like and see you next time thank you